joined by Hofstra coach Seth Tooney and student athletes Ryan Tooney, Michael Altman, and Bobby Casey following the Pride's 12 9 victory over the University of Michigan today. Coach, start off with your thoughts on today's game. Yeah, I'm awfully proud of the guys today. Um, you know, we had a, uh, we had a wacky week of uh, practice, weather, uh, things along those lines, just different things happening, and I'm just proud of, of how nimble our guys have been. You got to be nimble in life, but certainly this week we had to be nimble. We had to handle a few different things, and uh, and the guys did a great job. They really did. And then certainly to come out today and uh, and play the way they did versus Michigan, um, who is unbelievably well coached. Uh, you know, thankful for the for the opportunity, and uh, we'll enjoy this one tonight. And then on to on to going over. This one's for the athletes, guys. When you went down six three in the second quarter, it seemed like there was no panic, no fight, just. Or no quit. What was the uh, what was the message when you guys went down six three? How were you able to turn it around? There's a lot of time left at six three. Uh, when was that? That was the end of the first. Uh, early second quarter. Early second. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of time left, and um, I mean, there's ups and downs, peaks and valleys, and you just gotta keep the same uh, mental state the whole time. Yeah, I think uh, on the D side, we uh, realized that we were just kind of giving up goals that were our fault. They weren't beating us. They were, uh, you know, garbage goals, and we were killing ourselves, and we always looked at each other, you know. We knew that if we just continue to play our game, execute the game plan the way we wanted to, that we'd be able to shut them down, and that, uh, you know, we'll get the job done. Ryan and uh, the rest of the guys took care of it. Herb had to face off, and just started clicking after that. Uh, Bobby, uh, you guys really, locked, like you said, you locked it up in the second half. How do you prepare for a team like Michigan? You know they're coming in. Um, you know, what does it take to be able to bounce back from, I guess, giving up a few bad goals early on and really keep the team in the game with some really big saves? Yeah, like Ryan said, there's a lot of time left in the game, 6-3. Uh, um, they're a Big Ten team. They got talented guys. You know, they get the uh, top of the top recruits and going over their film and stuff, we knew that they had some offensive guys, some guys that me and Ryan played against uh, from Long Island in high school and stuff. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just all about us. It's all about the defensive uh, side for us, for Ryan, the offensive guys. And we knew that if we just execute the game plan and continue to uh, play our game, that we get the job done. Ryan, can you talk about how you were able to set up um, guys in the second half? You had four assists after scoring a couple goals in the first half. Just how were you able to set up some uh, guys, and especially Ryan Sheridan had a, had a good game today with a hat trick? Yeah, they just get open. They know how to play off ball. and. Uh... I got just try to get the ball to them when they when they, they have good opportunities and they're bearing the ball shooting it smart and uh, I can't thank them enough for uh, the way they played. Uh, question for Michael: This, you know, we talked about the goalie end, but on the the defensive side, you know, what did you guys do to make adjustments to uh, to keep them quiet in the second half? Yeah, I think the game plan was uh, set well and uh, we gave up a few early, brought it in at the end of the first and. Uh, we stuck with the game, the original game plan. And I think that was the main thing that uh, helped us tighten up. And can you talk a little bit about the the goal? <coughs> what a, you know, a great a pass from uh, this guy sitting next to me. Uh, just cut off ball, and he found me and went in. Uh, this one's kind of for anyone, but uh, how would you guys speak about the confidence level of the team? It, throughout the game, it really seemed to grow. You guys playing with no fear. It really, as you guys said, you stuck to the game plan. Uh, but how's the confidence level of this team to be able to, you know, come back um, down 6-3 and just not even worry and continue to just grow from there? Were you at Wednesday's practice? The <laughs> <laughs> confidence level wasn't very good at Wednesday's practice. But the good thing is it's only 24 hours of the day. <coughs> Today was a new day. And uh, these guys, um, they're certainly more confident now than they were two and a half hours ago. And, uh, and now we just we have to enjoy this because it's what we is why we do it, um, and then we'll get back to try to heal our bodies on tomorrow, and then Monday starts a new game week. So uh, the confidence level is, is getting there, especially with a lot of young guys. You know, you get Sheridan out there. These are two games in a row. He's a multi-goal scorer. Um, I, I, I see that it says Bobby Casey had eight saves. Um, there, it, there must have been eight point blank saves because I remember if I felt like he saved the ball 16 times. Um, but you know, it's it's good for him and his confidence level. Um, Michael Altman points in, in two games in a row now, and uh, all that stuff, we just take a step and take a step and grow up a little bit because we do have some young guys out there, and we need to uh, we need to mature up a little bit. We have a tough Villanova team coming in, and uh, it was a battle last year. Uh, Coach Tierney, you came out of the second half looking a lot 
like a different team, any uh, second or halftime adjustments? No, I mean, I think, I think the offensive huddle, um, Coach McEntee did a great job on his board on tweaking some things. Ryan spoke a little bit. And then on the defensive side, you know, the great thing about Coach Gorman is he's pretty even keeled. Uh, he picks out a few things. I, I think he brought up, you know, a few items. And then we bring it in, and, and we just talked about a couple of two-goal swings where we didn't capitalize down one end, and they capitalized on the other. And we got to eliminate the two-goal swings for them, and they got to start tilting our way. Um, to, you know, at halftime, it turned into a 30-minute game when it was all tied at six, and it was just a, a little bit of will to get it over the top. And then I think once we got it to 11-9, uh, I think that was the first time it was a two-goal lead, maybe 12-7, sorry. Um, I might have been in a different game. Uh, <laughs> once we got it to a two- or three-goal lead, then then you almost exhale, right? You know, when it's a one-goal game, they know you're one possession away from, from this turning. And uh, I'm certainly proud of the way they handled it for right now. We just look like to take another step next week. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Adam.